Welcome back to my YouTube channel, PGK Kadam Academy. This video is on contribution of W. Edwards Deming, father of quality management in industrial engineering, introducing W. Edwards Deming. He was an American statistician, professor, author, and consultant who revolutionized the approach to quality management. He is considered the father of modern quality management. His ideas revolutionized production in the 20th century. Deming believed in continuous improvement. He emphasized the importance of data-driven decision-making. His work transformed industries worldwide. Deming's philosophy focused on improving systems. He believed that improving systems would lead to better quality products and services. This in turn would lead to greater customer satisfaction and increased profitability. Deming argued that quality was not about inspection but about prevention. Born in 1900, Deming's career spanned decades. He worked with the U.S. Census Bureau and during World War II. After the war, he introduced his quality management principles to Japan. His work there helped to rebuild the country's devastated industries. Japanese businesses embraced Deming's ideas. This led to the rise of Japan as a global economic powerhouse. Deming's influence was recognized globally, earning him numerous accolades and honors. He authored several books, including Out of the Crisis, which outlined his management philosophies. His teachings are still studied in business schools around the world today. Companies continue to apply his principles to improve their processes and achieve higher standards of quality. One of his most famous contributions is the 14 points for management, which provide a framework for organizational transformation. These points emphasize the need for a long-term commitment to quality and the importance of leadership in driving change. Deming's ideas have also influenced other quality management methodologies such as Six Sigma, Lean Manufacturing and Total Quality Management. His legacy continues to shape the way businesses operate, ensuring that quality remains a top priority in a competitive global market. Even in today's technology-driven world, Deming's principles are applied to ensure the highest standards of quality in products and services. W. Edwards Deming's contributions to quality management have left an indelible mark on the business world, inspiring future generations to strive for excellence. His famous quote, In God We Trust, All Others Must Bring Data, encapsulates his belief in the power of data-driven decision-making. Deming's legacy lives on, reminding us that quality is not just a goal, but a continuous journey. The Deming Wheel, a cycle of continuous improvement. One of Deming's most famous contributions is the Deming Wheel. This concept has revolutionized the way organizations approach problem solving and process enhancement. This is also known as the Plan Do Study Act, PDSA cycle. It serves as a fundamental framework for driving continuous improvement in various industries. It is a simple but powerful tool for continuous improvement. By following this cycle, teams can systematically address issues and implement effective solutions. The cycle consists of four phases, plan, do, study, and act. Each phase plays a crucial role in ensuring that improvements are well thought out and effectively executed. These phases guide organizations in systematically improving their processes. By breaking down the improvement process into manageable steps, the PDSA cycle makes it easier to achieve sustainable progress. The plan phase involves identifying an opportunity for improvement. This could be a problem that needs solving or an area where efficiency can be enhanced. Teams then develop a plan to test a change. This involves brainstorming potential solutions, evaluating their feasibility and outlining the steps needed to implement them. The do phase involves implementing the plan on a small scale. This is a critical step as it allows teams to test their ideas in a controlled environment. This allows for controlled testing. By starting small, teams can minimize risks and gather valuable data without disrupting larger operations. The study or check phase focuses on analyzing the results of the implementation. Teams collect data and evaluate the outcomes to determine whether the change has had the desired effect. Data is collected and studied to determine the effectiveness of the change. This analysis helps teams understand what worked, what didn't and what. Finally, the ACT phase involves taking action based on the findings of the study. Teams decide whether to adopt, modify or abandon the change based on the data collected. If the change is successful, it is implemented more broadly. This means scaling up the solution to apply it across the organization or to other relevant areas. 
The deming wheel is a cyclical process, meaning that it can be repeated as needed. Here are some of the benefits of using the deming wheel. Continuous improvement of processes and products, easy to understand and implement. Involve employees in the process. Don't expect to see results overnight. Be persistent. Don't give up if you don't see results immediately. Keep working at it and you will eventually see improvement. 14 points for management, a new philosophy. Deming's 14 points for management outline a comprehensive management philosophy. These points are not just a set of guidelines, but a transformative approach to how organizations should operate. They provide a roadmap for organizations seeking to achieve quality excellence. By following these principles, companies can create a culture of continuous improvement and innovation. These points emphasize long-term thinking, continuous improvement, and respect for people. They encourage organizations to look beyond short-term gains and focus on sustainable growth. They challenge traditional management practices. Deming believed that many conventional methods were counterproductive and needed to be rethought. Deming urged companies to adopt a new philosophy. This new way of thinking was centered around quality and the idea that every employee has a role in achieving it. He wanted them to cease dependence on mass inspection. Instead, he advocated for building quality into the product from the very beginning. He believed quality should be built into the product from the start. This approach reduces waste and increases efficiency, leading to better products and happier customers. He advocated for the importance of training and education for all employees. Continuous learning and development are crucial for maintaining high standards of quality. Deming also emphasized the need to drive out fear from the workplace. The culture of fear stifles creativity and innovation, which are essential for growth. He believed this would encourage innovation and risk-taking. When employees feel safe and valued, they're more likely to contribute new ideas and take calculated risks. Deming's 14 points promote a holistic approach to management. They encourage organizations to consider the entire system rather than focusing on individual parts. They encourage organizations to focus on the entire system. This systemic thinking helps in identifying and solving problems more effectively. They highlight the interconnectedness of different departments. Collaboration and communication between departments are essential for achieving overall organizational goals. Deming believed that by empowering employees and fostering teamwork, organizations could achieve significant improvements in quality and productivity. When employees are given the tools and support they need, they can work together more effectively and drive the organization towards success. The implementation of Deming's philosophy can lead to a more motivated workforce, higher quality products, and ultimately a more successful organization. By embracing these principles, companies can create a culture of excellence that benefits everyone involved. Deming also identified what he called the seven deadly diseases of management. These diseases, he argued, were major obstacles to achieving quality and organizational effectiveness. They represent common management pitfalls. These pitfalls can hinder progress and stifle innovation. The seven deadly diseases include a lack of constancy of purpose, emphasis on short-term profits, performance evaluations based on numerical targets, job hopping by managers, managing by use of visible figures only, excessive medical costs, and excessive liability costs. Deming believed that by addressing these diseases, organizations could create a more conducive environment for improvement. These diseases highlight the importance of long-term vision, leadership stability, and a focus on intrinsic motivation over extrinsic rewards. Deming argued that by overcoming these obstacles, organizations could unleash the full potential of their workforce and achieve sustainable success. Deming's work had a profound impact on Japan after World War II. The Japanese embraced his ideas with enthusiasm. They implemented his principles of quality management across various industries. This transformed Japan's industrial landscape. Deming's teachings were instrumental in Japan's economic recovery. 
They helped to establish the country as a global leader in quality and innovation. Japanese companies like Toyota, Sony and Panasonic became synonymous with high quality products. They achieved international recognition for their manufacturing prowess. Deming's influence on Japanese industry extended beyond specific companies. He helped to shape a national culture of quality. This focus on quality permeated all levels of Japanese society. It became a cornerstone of their economic success. Thank you very much for watching full video. Please subscribe, like and share channel. PG